and welcome back to another episode of None of These Purses Match My Outfit. <laughs> we may not be able to color coordinate very well, however, I do have some really cute spring purses in this Shein Accessories haul and a few other lovely items from Shein. This is all accessories, so if you want to accessorize your life a little bit more and on a budget, definitely keep watching this video, give it a like, and subscribe to my channel for more content if you want to see more from me. If you're already liking what you're seeing, like this video. Or, or like this video anyways. We're going to start off with the purses. I usually only do one or two purses in my accessory hauls, but I have some gems for y'all and I could not wait to show them off. Some of these have already been styled on my Instagram and I did a short, a YouTube short, a while ago back with some of these purses, kind of styling them. So we have this cutie up next, would have been perfect for Valentine's Day. I found it and got it a little bit before, so it would have been, you know, too late to talk about it in that setting. If you are just a fan of hearts as a whole or just red bags, this is such a statement piece. I really enjoy looking at it and wearing it with kind of any contrasting colors. I love it with like anything that's more of a light blue or any shade of blue really, because this pops so much. Throw that out. And it comes with a pretty nice little strap. I don't love the strap. A purse like this would look really good with a chain strap. Look at me, I found a little gold strap from one of my other purses, put it on this one. It could just be me, but I don't like putting on longer straps on handbags where the handles don't fold because when you're wearing it, it just kind of looks weird in my opinion. I have had clear bags before, but not any that are kind of like resin like this, so it's like a hard material and it also has like this prismatic effect. I don't know if the camera is picking it up. You can kind of just see obviously it's a clear bag, but it definitely has that prismatic effect to it. I think the lights are hitting it a little bit too hard and you're not seeing the full beauty of this bag. It's a loud bag. The way that it opens is very satisfying. So it just has this top clip here and you just pop that up and it opens just like that. I enjoy this bag. I think it looks really cool. Again, very easy to pair with literally anything because it's clear and it looks fire with this outfit. We have this little gem up next. Oh my goodness. It's just beads. It's completely made out of beads. And the way that the light is hitting it, it's doing something. This is a little statement piece and the color is so unique. I've been trying to get more purples for spring and summer for this year. And this was just to die for. So. <laughs> it actually is functional. You can open this up and there's a little bit of room here. Obviously, you know, your keys and your chapstick are all that's going to fit in here. It's a mini bag. It is a mini bag for sure, but she's a cutie. She's definitely worth having and you're not going to see this every day. Is it one of those sponges to wipe your car off with or is it a purse? Multi-purpose here with this bag. <laughs> I mean, desperate times, right? Like if you had to use it for that, you definitely could. Look at how unique this bag is. We have some just show stoppers today with these purses. The inside is pretty nice. It's just kind of like black. There's no like storage spaces or anything in there. Okay, so I want to talk about my rings that I picked up from Shein this time because I don't have that many and I'm wearing them all. And my hands look like a mess. My new cat, she is a dear sweetheart, but she loves attacking my fingers and they look like a wreck. But I picked up these two rings here on this side. I absolutely love this bee one and this moth one. They definitely don't per se go together very well. I would have loved to space them out a little bit more, but these are the only fingers that these rings fit on. And as I've talked about before, Shein does not have ring sizes on their site. So you kind of just have to put them wherever you can and wherever they fit on your fingers or just honestly hope that they're going to fit at all. Um, for reference, these two are about a size seven and then my ring finger is a size six. So if you're similar in ring sizes, these will fit on you. And then on the other side, I actually have a ring that perfectly matches my outfit. This little cutie here and this sun and moon. These are just gorgeous. I feel like they all have the same aesthetic, the same vibe to them. They're just 
they're so cute and really good quality honestly i think all of these look really really nice they were super inexpensive so always gotta hand it to shein for their quality and also just their pricing you can definitely ball on a budget with your accessories from shein we got a really good mix of earrings this time too so first i'm going to talk about these roses on my ears right now these are definitely my favorite from this haul i have to say but all the jewelry kind of has the same vibe to it so if you like these you're definitely gonna like the ones coming up next it looks like a dried rose that has been i don't know soaked in some sort of gloss resin it's really cool these are the only pair that do not match the vibe of everything else but i have these cute little cats and teacups my i think it was my sister or one of my friends bought these for me for christmas i lost them right after Christmas. I don't know what happened to them. I just found them today and I wanted to show you guys them because they're so cute. Would wear these. I think they're really cute and they're just kind of fun and unique. And I love the little cat in a teacup. It's so, it's just, it's so cute. These ones are kind of quirky. I mean, you just saw cat teacups as earrings. So you should be ready to expect anything from me at this point. I love these so, so much. They're safety pins as earrings, but they're kind of like blinged out. And I don't know, they speak to me. I just picture a spicy outfit with it. I don't know why that is. Also any just kind of black outfit, all black outfit or monochromatic look, I think these would look really good. Turtleneck, hair up. There's so many different ways to wear these. And I love anything that kind of just dangles around like that too, as far as earrings go. Same with these, like I just love danglies, I guess. Hoops and danglies for me, that's, that's my whole, my whole vibe, my whole aesthetic as far as earrings go. All right, we have these earrings up next and oh my gosh, I cannot wait to wear these. They obviously do not go with what I'm wearing per se, but I also enjoy quite a bit of contrast in what I wear. It's just kind of got that like paint pouring look to them on earrings. Again, kind of like resin looking. They are a little plastic feeling, but they don't have like that cheap clingy noise to them, if that makes any sense. These ones bring the whole aesthetic of this video together. I feel like, look at how cool. I feel like they perfectly match the same era as my top here. I don't know. They just have like this Victorian vibe to them. Renaissance, that kind of thing. And I got the matching necklace, had to do it. I thought the necklace would be a lot bigger and look kind of weird with my outfit. So I didn't put it on until now, but I mean, what do you think? I think it kind of goes. I think it's almost completing my outfit. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. I love all the little detail on the earrings and the necklace. So obviously, you know, it's, we've got like the woman on the portrait here in the middle, but the chain for the necklace has these little bumps in them. And I kind of just like anything that's not, again, not your average simple necklace, not your average simple anything really. And I like that the bumps are on here. And on top of that, we didn't just go with a simple chain with this. We have like this big statement piece right here in the front next up we have this unique belt so it's kind of got like a half loop here where how do i do this so that's kind of how it looks on I wasn't really sure that a belt would look great with this outfit i think maybe everything together is adding up it's taking a toll on the outfit as a whole this is kind of just how you'd wear this belt i think it looks really cute Probably maybe to the side a little bit more. These pants have like an asymmetrical button to them. So it kind of looks funny wherever you put like this belt piece, it looks off. But the belt itself is a really cute. I think it looks really nice. I love kind of like this three layered look just on one side. It's very unique in style. Like maybe this would be a bit too much with what I'm wearing, but I could kind of take bits and pieces out and make this work, especially with these pants. I love any belts that kind of have that dangly piece too. I just love the way that that looks. And then just to give you kind of like an up close, went a little too close there. <laughs> okay, here is a close up of the belt. So it's kind of got just like a little side view portrait of a person. And the dangly piece has like a little, almost like a sun or like a flower. I'm not sure which it's supposed to be. Kind of looks like a mandala. Okay, so next up we just have a few hair accessories. So I have bought different versions of these little clips from Shein before in the past. They were clear and I really loved them. I got like this eight pack of these little clips here and they just came in like a variety of colors and I think they just look really cute, very tasteful. I almost wish that I had bought two so I could have matching ones to put on both sides of my hair. 
at the time it felt a little bit extra, but now looking back, that actually would make a lot of sense. Some of them look like a little bit more neochrome and then others are more of that tortoiseshell pattern. They are really cute, honestly. Goodbye, I think these were probably like maybe four or five dollars at the most. And I've said this in every accessories haul that I have ever done with hair accessories in it, but you go almost anywhere else to buy accessories for your hair and you're gonna be paying like at least twice the price, if not more. These are really cheap, really affordable on Shein. I would highly recommend checking out their hair accessories. Next up, we have these little clips. I tried to throw one in my hair to see how I would like it, and I'm not sure they're kind of too bulky to style the way that I thought I would be able to, but they came in a bunch of different patterns. So you kind of have like the bow, the butterfly, the oval, and then kind of like this rectangle, and maybe there's more in there. I didn't look through all of them yet, but there's definitely a way to wear these. I feel like if you're not going for a masterpiece with your hair for the day, these are really nice to just kind of throw in. They're gonna hold your hair back. And they actually hold quite a bit of hair because of their size. So I don't know, I think I actually will use these. I'll probably toss the butterflies, but everything else I think I really like. I love these rectangle ones the most, I'd say. Kind of just easier to wear. Doesn't clash with your outfit as much. It's more modernized, I don't know. I think they're cute. I'll be honest, I haven't quite figured out how to wear these yet in a way that looks good on me. Still kind of just messing with it. But I did buy these in a three pack, so they came in these patterns here, the one that I'm wearing, and then this one as well. This is kind of cheesy of me, but I have seen these in movies, and I've seen them on Instagram and whatnot, and I was like, I think I, I have the, I don't know the requirements, whatever those may be, to pull off one of these, and I'm not sure that I have met those requirements. I wish like the triangle piece at the end was a little bit more prominent, but maybe like from the back? Okay, maybe it looks cute from the back. You guys will have to let me know how you feel about these down below in the comments. Mixed feelings, I think I can pull it off, I, I don't know, we're gonna have to keep messing with them. Well, that is everything for today from me for this little Shein accessories haul. I really hope that you enjoyed. I definitely had some diversity in this one and I almost feel like nothing matched except for the jewelry had like a vibe, but the jewelry didn't match the purses or the hair accessories really kind of all over the place, but I really hope that you enjoyed the variety that I offered in this one. Definitely give this video a like, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more content from me, and yeah, I mean, stay tuned, have a wonderful rest of your week, and I hope to see you next time.